Hello everyone, welcome to another video. If you never heard about Alexander Pushkin or Alexander Dumas, please close this video, go to the library, read, educate yourself. But if you know about them and if you maybe read their books, did you know that Alexander Pushkin and Alexander Dumas is the same person? Shocking news, sit tight. Before I start, you can subscribe this channel and like this video. First of all, this is conspiracy theory that has so many amazing arguments that I feel so sorry that it's not true. According to this theory, Pushkin didn't die on a duel in 1937, but faked his death, moved to France and was writing under a new identity, Alexander Dumas. This theory claims that Tsar sent Pushkin to France under a new identity to be his spy. George Charles Dantes, it's the guy who shot Pushkin, also was sent to France, but in his version, he was exiled from Russia and later he became a senator of French Republic. Coincidence? It's okay. Pushkin was one of the most famous opposers of Tsar. He was very close friends with the Sembrists, or the group of people who wanted to make a revolution in Russia, and all of them were exiled to Siberia. The only reason why Pushkin was not sent with them to Siberia is because at that moment Pushkin already was in exile. In exile, because theory claims that all the times that Pushkin was sent to prison or exile, Actually, he was going to France to participate under his another uh, identity, Alexander Dumas. Because before 1840, Dumas was writing some small, not that much famous novels. And that was the times when Pushkin was in exile. He was just going to France like, hey guys, I'm Dumas. This is what I wrote. Pushkin was Thanos and ChatGPT of that time. He could generate any novel on any topic in one click. Pushkin and Dumas were almost the same age. Pushkin was born in 1799, Dumas was born in 1802, three year difference. Next, both of them have African roots. Pushkin's grand-grandfather was from Ethiopia, uh, Dumas' grand-grandmother was from Africa, that's what he was saying in the beginning, but then in the late ages he started saying that his grandfather was from Africa. Again, we are talking about mid of 19th century, no photo, no passport, no fingerprints, only hand-drawn portraits and signatures. Speaking of which, this is their handwritings. Identical. Identical. Okay, still not convinced? Their portraits. Pushkin just cut his whiskers, gain weight, and a new identity is ready. In 1840, three years after Pushkin's death, Pushkin's death, Dumas is writing a novel, The Fencing Master. In that novel, Dumas describes the Tsarska Selo Lyceum in so high details that every critic says that only the person who spent their ages can know this place that good. Also, if I'm not mistaken, Pushkin and most of the Decembers graduated that Lyceum. Pushkin just wanted to praise his old friends. It's commonly believed that this novel was immediately forbidden in Russia because it was about Decembers, the opposers of Tsar. But actually, not actually. I want to believe that this book was forbidden in Russia because it was very close to reveal the real identity of Alexander Dumas. Another book, Count of Monte Cristo. If you remember, the main character, Edmond Dantes, faked his death to avoid the punishment for the murder he did not do, then come back under a new identity to revenge and the rest of the book. Do you remember the name of the guy who shot Pushkin? George Charles Dantes. Pushkin in the Count of Monte Cristo was just giving a hint that Dantes, George Charles Dantes, didn't really kill Pushkin because at that time a lot of Pushkin's fans were so sad and they kind of hated Dantes, George Charles Dantes. Using this trick, Pushkin wanted just to lower the hate against George Charles Dantes. Now, the language barrier. Dumas was writing in French, Pushkin was writing in Russia. There is misconception here, right? Yes, except one thing. Pushkin fluently knew French. Even first his novel, if I'm not mistaken, Pushkin wrote in French. Again, for Pushkin to generate the novel in French or in Russia was as easy as one click. Chat GPT, I'm telling you. Then another interesting fact is that Dumas never spoke Russian. There are no evidence that Dumas knew Russian, right? But somehow he translated to French language novels by Pushkin and by Lermontov. Accidentally, right? Yeah, I'm telling you, this dude is Chat GPT. Let's not forget that both Dumas and Pushkin loved Caucasus. Shortly after Tsar's death, Dumas visits the Russian Empire and visits Caucasus. Dude just missed his favorite place, 
After Pushkin's death, Tsar organizes a close and huge funeral ceremony for Pushkin, right? It is the same as if something happens to Navalny, Putin organizes a huge funeral for him. I don't buy it. I love this theory so much and you have no idea how much I feel sorry that this theory is not true. Thank you for watching. All in all, this is conspiracy theory with, <laughs> I believe, a strong argument, but there are strong historical evidences that Pushkin and Dumas are two different people. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.